Okay, someone wanted to know how to get uh, zipped uh, fonts from a download over to um, Scal. Uh, so this is one. We'll do the Nexus. Um, I just went in and downloaded them. Um, so I'm going to go in and unzip this. Um, just to all. <clears throat> and it comes up. And then another way to cheat with these, um, as long as they're all like the same type of thing, is I will highlight all of them, <coughs> come in here, <coughs> and extract them all. And I always come and I click yes to all. And that will extract all of them to your downloads folder. Okay, so we have them unzipped, and here's the folder that they went into. It's still up here in the downloads. Um, so we're going to go into it and we're going to click, um, we're going to click this, and you see this is like the dingbats. You're going to come up here and you're going to hit install. And that was another way to do it right there. You can right click on them, highlight them all, and then click that install button like I just did right there. And that will install all of them. Okay, so let's exit out of that. Okay, so here is your library in style. You're going to come pull up your font tab. You see these little lines over here, these little horizontal lines? Click that. And it says load font. So you're going to come on over here. And you're going to come to your downloads, <clears throat> find that same folder that says whatever yours is called. Mine is called Nexus. Okay, or Nexa. And I should be able to. No, it's not going to let me, is it? Nope, I can't drag it. I'm going to load each individual one. Okay. But this is how you go ahead and you load all of your fonts. Now if you did not click install and you did not install them onto your computer you can install them into here however when you exit out of this so too will those uh, fonts. So it will be a one time use only. You have to make sure that um, you install them into your computer and then when you do that they will also install into here permanently. Alright, have a good one.